Tyler here with the GP Knives, and today we have the Boker Salako Titanium. This knife has a blade of 440C for a high level of wear and corrosion resistance. It's got a high height hollow grind for excellent slicing and a nice long swedge on the back, giving it a very fine point for piercing tasks. It's got some aesthetic jimping on the spine at the front of the blade and some functional thumb jimping here at the rear of the blade next to the dual thumb studs. The large thumb studs provide for very easy opening, whether for a slow opening or for a faster deployment. The new handle scales on these are made of 3D machined titanium with some nice smooth texturing here. It's got a nice aggressive milled look and open back construction with a small spacer in the back here just to provide an anchor for the construction screws. You got a single position tip up right hand carry stainless steel pocket clip. Of course it is a titanium frame lock. We do have a hardened steel lock face insert here that also doubles as over travel protection. You can see here that the way they've milled that tab, it gives a very clean closed look showing almost nothing except for the very line of the cutout on that frame lock. It's a very clean and elegant look overall, both open and closed. And we'll show it quickly here with the G10 variation so we can see some of the differences. So blade steel and finish is gonna be the same on the two of these. Overall, the designs are gonna be very similar. What I did notice here is that the thickness at the spine is gonna be a little thinner on the titanium version. And this helps to balance out the knife overall because it is lighter in the handles as well. You can see also that the handle thickness is going to be more narrow on the titanium version thanks to the lack of those liners. And then of course, you got that G10 versus titanium with a very similar milled texturing on both. And then, of course, the titanium is a frame lock rather than the liner lock construction. And for a quick size comparison, we have the Salako with the Paramilitary 2 from Spyderco. These knives are fairly similar with the Salako being just a little bit longer overall. Got a slightly longer blade length and then, of course, a much longer cutting edge length thanks to the lack of that index finger choil. Handle length on these two is similar with the Salako actually having a longer handle length overall. The blade stock thickness on these is also fairly similar with them both having a fairly fine point at the tip and tapering back to a thicker blade stock at the spine. You can also see that the handle thickness on these two is gonna be fairly comparable while the Salako does weigh significantly more thanks to the full titanium construction. And here you can see the Salako in my pocket it does ride fairly shallow on the pocket, but that does provide access to the lanyard hole, as well as giving you plenty of surface area for drawing the knife. The knife carries very well and deploys quickly and readily for use, and allows easy access to other items in the pocket, thanks to the slim profile, and despite having the aggressive texturing on the handles, is fairly smooth in the pocket. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives, and the Boker Plus Salako Titanium. You can check it out now at gpknives.com. Thanks for watching, and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel, like the video below, and click the icon at the bottom right to subscribe to our YouTube channel feed for updates on all new videos.